back into our decorative bottle. And, oh, it smells good. I'm just going to hold it here and pour very slowly. Oh, look at the color of that. Oh, my God. Look at my house. Please, 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 please. Please stay over on your side. Oh, look at that. Oop. Okay. I'll just adjust you a little bit here. And dripping. This is made with my blueberries I picked from Blueberry Haven. Located right outside of Clintonville. Look at the color of that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. You can't really see the color of that, huh? Yeah, I'll go right here. There. Let's do this. This might work better. Now, can you see? A little better. I think so. Maybe not. Oh well. Let's just finish. here or you can just lightly press out. This is its second really nice strain. So actually I think this might be like the third strain. So yeah. I'll tell you that sure smell good. Ooh. I'm gonna put that back in here and get some more cheesecloth and I'll be right back. This one, oh, I can get it open. And this isn't all going to fit in here, obviously. So, what I'm going to do is just fill it up to the top. And then this I'm going to cover up again and put back in my cupboard over there. I keep it in my, you have to keep it in a cool, dark place. And that's over there in my, in my cupboard. And so, this one, I'm just going to, for this time, hold this ends down a little bit. You could also use a rubber band to hold them down. And I'm going to slowly pour it in because I don't want it overflowing here. And we will... Ooh, I think that might be it. One little whoosh. Ooh, whoa. Whoa, there we go. That's about as high as you're going to get it. And there we go. And that's about it. This I'm going to put back in my cupboard so when I make a couple cocktails, I can put the rest of this in my bottle. But it looks good, and I can tell you right now, it really tastes good too. And see, there's not much residue left in there. And I'm just going to do the old taste test just like this. Around a little bit. Hmm. Mm. Cool. It's very strong. It was very good. Cool. Very good. It's strong, but it's good. And it has a very nice, distinctive blueberry flavor. Not like overpowering like the strawberry, but it was good. So, I'm going to put this away and let it sit just for a few days. This is ready to go. So, and then we'll make a blueberry pink lemonade cocktail next. And like I said, I get these bottles at Aldi. They're filled with um, lemonade. And this one was filled with pink lemonade, and that's why I'm going to use it. 
and um, I think they're three twenty nine. I thought they were two dollars, but I think they're three twenty nine. And then you get to have the bottle, and you get to use it to make cocktails with lemonade. So here we go. This is blueberry flavored or blueberry infused vodka made and with sugar in it also made with blueberries that I picked from Blueberry Haven and the blueberries this year at Blueberry Haven were unbelievably good. They were abundant, they were huge and I gotta say that they were the best blueberries I've ever had from there and I've been picking blueberries there for well over five years so this was by far the best year. It, they are good. And look at how nice and clear that is. So I'll be back in a couple days or who knows, maybe later, later today, depending upon how much work I get done outside. Now that I had some vodka early as well, 11 o'clock this morning <laughs> when I'm filming this. Otherwise I'd make a cocktail now, but I don't want to go to bed at two. So see you later. Bye-bye. Vodka, liqueur, whatever you want to call it, and we need, well, what to say with, ice, lots of ice, lots and lots and lots of ice, lots and lots and lots of ice. Should be good for right now. And some sparkling pink lemonade. Give it a little fizz there. Oh, yum. And we are going to stir it. Nice and refreshing. I'm just going to top it up a teeny bit more. And we add a couple straws. Got to have our straws. And I'm going to take some frozen blueberries that are nice and huge. And I'm just going to pop those on top. Look at how big those babies are. Blueberries I've had. Oh. And okay. Throw in one more. And then we're gonna top it with I have a little bit of frozen lime here. And the reason I freeze it is because it's easier to work with. And it looks kind of cute. Oh, there we go. I'm not stale. And just to make it look even nicer bundle of my lavender that I just picked from my garden. And we're just going to put that in there real nice. There we go. And then that looked like a nice tropical yummy, yummy cocktail. And I'm going to take a nice little sip of that right now. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. Perfect for this hot day here in Wisconsin. Make yourself a batch of blueberries. Oh, first, rent, go to Blueberry Haven. Pick yourself some blueberries. Come on home. Freeze them. And then make yourself after, or you can make it right away. That's what I did. And make your uh, blueberry vodka. And you can have a cocktail, too. So, I will see you in another episode. I have my pajamas on already. It's hot here, and I don't care. It's cool. So, I'm going to go join my 
cocktail. Whoa, this just doesn't want to stay on today. There we go. You have a good day, and I'll be back again. Bye-bye now.